So what makes blueberries so healthy? They're these compounds called anthocyanins. They also make blackberries so healthy. They also uh, make acai berries, which you find in Brazil, so healthy. They're electron-rich uh, molecules, which by definition means they have the potential to be antioxidants, since the uh, antioxidants are actually giving electrons away to uh, prooxidants, which are going to take electrons away. So uh, these guys have a conjugated double bond ring system, so you see their double single double pattern. They're also surrounded by uh, more polar OH groups to help them be absorbed better by the body, which is mostly water. And uh, that double single double conjugated double bond system we find in uh, many types of antioxidants, uh, such as these flavonoids, which are related to polyphenolic compounds. Polyphenol means this is many phenol groups. So we have a benzene ring or a phenyl ring attached to an OH. If it's uh, attached to a sugar, which is how it is, how it is in nature, it's called anthocyanin. And if you just see it without it, it's anthocyanidin. Just some minor differences in naming there. So blueberries, blackberries, acai berries, Few studies have been done to show the protective effects of these compounds. This is not treatment for disease. Uh, that's very important that uh, these are studies where to gain relevant information on disease prevention. Uh, so there uh, is a Harvard study about uh, 93,000 women where uh, they were followed over, I think maybe 14 years to show that Anthocyanins reduce uh, risk of heart attack. Uh, there have been in vitro studies done where it actually helps to inhibit uh, colon cancer uh, cell growth. Uh, and the famous uh, Gary Stoner and Steve Hecht show that anthocyanins actually prevent tumors in the esophagus of rats. So one thing when you look at scientific papers in Google Scholar, let's say you want to look for citation number. That means that other people are referring to this work and finding uh, similar or analogous information in their lab. So high citation number along with uh, the reputation of the lab group as well as the journal are the things you're going to want to look for. Uh, yeah, one of the theories uh, in terms of the Gary Stone or Steve Hecht uh, group, respective groups, is at least what they think is that anthocyanin induces uh, glutathione S transferase activity. You have these enzymes in your cells that protect you. Uh, one of them are called phase 2 enzymes, so if you get a boost of those guys, you're going to be more protected against harmful chemicals that are really everywhere in the environment. In terms of citation number, uh, that first study on myocardial infarction, uh, which is at Harvard Medical, was cited 156 times. The inhibition of the uh, colon cancer uh, cell growth in vitro, which is in petri dish, is uh, that stu study was cited 258 times. And finally, the uh, that paper uh, from Gary Stoner, Steve Hecht, on the rats was cited. Times that 123. So, uh, definitely lots of hard science there to show that uh, there is a uh, protective effect of anthocyanin on cells. So, eat your, uh, eat your uh, blueberries, eat your blackberries. And if you ever get to Brazil, be sure to eat those acai berries.